Hello everyone and thanks for watching Idupedia World videos. In this session of mole concept, we'll start with a new concentration unit called molality. Okay, what we have studied is molarity. This is molality. Okay, so let's start with the basics and then we'll solve some examples and get done with it. So what is molality? Okay, it is completely different from molarity. It has no relation to molarity. Okay. You can calculate molality from molarity and vice versa. Alright, but they are completely different units. Only their name are similar. Okay, so don't get confused. So molality is number of moles of solute in one kilogram of solvent. Okay. Again, it is a concentration unit, so it is going to be in relative terms. And in this case, the ratio is number of moles of solute in 1 kilogram of solvent that is ratio of moles of solute and kilogram of solvent okay so for the first time instead of solution we have solvent okay relative to solvent okay for the first time instead of solution we have something relative to solvent all right and second thing for the first time in a concentration unit Okay, we have studied percentage mass by mass and so on, but until now for molarity, mole fraction, we always were dealing with volume or moles mostly. Okay, here we are dealing with mass and mass of not solution, but solvent. Okay, so mathematically, molality is number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent. So you simply calculate moles of solute. Okay. You calculate mass of solvent in kilogram. You have to remember that it is in kilogram. Usually in chemistry we deal with grams. But here for calculation of molality we always use solvent mass in kilogram. So it will have unit or dimension of mole per kilogram. It will have unit of mole per kilogram. Okay. So this mole per kilogram is actually called molar. Okay. For molarity we had molar represented by capital M if you remember so in case of molality this unit of mole per kilogram is called molal represented by small m okay so one molal okay one small m one molar is nothing but one mole per kilogram okay one mole per kilogram you can obviously deal with gram as well okay you can convert kilogram to gram that is 1 kilogram is 1000 gram but in that case you also have to convert mole to millimole that is 1 mole is 1000 millimole ok so 1000 thousand gets cancelled we have 1 molal is also 1 millimole divided by 1 gram ok it is 1 millimole per gram or more commonly used 1 mole per kilogram ok 1 mole per kilogram is 1 molal so for example, okay, we'll see examples in further next slides. We'll see examples. First, let's note some points about molality. Okay, again, it is going to be independent of temperature. It is what moles of solute divided by mass of sol solvent, not solution. Okay, solvent. You have to remember that. But it is basically moles is number of quantity. Okay, it is basically it represents quantity number of something okay number of entities and kilogram is mass okay so this is number of particles and this is mass of solvent okay so this is mass so neither mass nor number is going to get affected by temperature so their ratio can also be not affected by temperature all right so that is why molality is independent of temperature so next interpretation of molality how do we interpret molality okay it is quite simple now let's say we have a solution of salt in water okay let's take salt in water okay so if say someone comes to me and say i have a solution of salt in water which has concentration of 0.5 molar okay small m means molar so how do I interpret it? What I do is molality is moles of solute in 1 kilogram of solvent. So I can assume mass of sol solvent that is solvent is water here. 
so i can assume that weight of water that is mass of solvent is 1 kg okay that is 1000 g all right so if i assume water to be 1 kg this implies that moles of my salt is going to be 0.5 okay this is what molality of 0.5 means okay i can assume that if i have 1 kg solvent then i have 0.5 moles of solute similarly if molality is 0.75 i can interpret it as 0.75 molar implies that 0.75 moles of solute is dissolved in okay is dissolved in 1 kg water okay 1 kg solvent in our case solvent is water so 1 kg of water all right so this is how we interpret this means we have converted again a relative quantity which is molality into absolute quantities of solute and solvent if you have moles of solute okay and you have mass of solvent mass of solvent can easily be converted into moles of solvent okay what is moles moles is given mass divided by gram molar mass so i can calculate moles of solvent as well okay and from moles of solute and solvent i can make further calculations as required in my question okay. let's see a quick example 250 g of an aqueous solution again aqueous solution means a solution in water is found to contain 60 g of glucose to calculate concentration of this solution in terms of molality all right so we basically have to calculate molality that is it so what is molality molality is going to be moles of solute let's say my solute is a divided by mass of solvent my solvent is let's say b so mass of solvent in kilogram all right so this is going to be my answer moles of solute divided by mass of solvent only thing i have to calculate na that is moles of solute and wb that is mass of solvent so my solute here and solvent first i have to identify solute and solvent so i have glucose in aqueous solution which means i have water so what we'll do we can take water as solvent okay and we'll take glucose as solute so i have identified my solute and solvent which means glucose is a and water we have named b all right so now i have to calculate na and wb so na is moles of glucose okay so what information do i have in the question about glucose i have that my solution contains 60 g of glucose all right it contains 60 g of glucose so i have mass of solute so i have to calculate moles from mass so mass divided by gram molar mass mass of glucose is 60 okay gram molar mass of glucose let's see glucose is c6 h12 o6 okay we have already calculated gram molar mass of glucose many times it is going to be 12 into 6 plus 12 plus 16 into 6 okay it comes out to be 180 grams all right so gram molar mass of glucose comes out to be 180 gram per mole so 60 divided by gram molar mass is 180 so this will come out to be 1 by 3 so i have calculated na that is moles of my solute now i have to calculate wp wb is mass of my solvent that is water which we have called, named as p so wb mass of solvent let's say what do i have in the question 250 g of an aqueous solution is found to contain 60 g of glucose so they have not given me mass of solvent what they have given me is mass of solute that is glucose so i have wa all right mass of glucose which is 60 g okay i have 250 g of an aqueous solution that is i have total mass total mass of my solution is 250 g 
all right so it's quite simple from here what is total mass of solution sum of individual constituents okay sum of each constituent in this case a and b we give me total mass all right so total mass is 250 okay total mass is 250 mass of glucose is 60 and mass of water that is solvent is wb so what do i get wb is 250 minus 60 that is wb is 190 gram okay so wb will come out to be 190 gram all right so i simply substitute the values molality is equal to moles of solute na is 1 by 3 divided by mass of solvent that is wb but in kilogram we have calculated 190 gram in that is we have calculated 190 as mass in gram so to convert gram into kilogram okay this is gram what i need is kilogram okay so to convert gram into kilogram you divide it by 1000 okay to convert gram into kilogram we divide it by 1000 so what you will get is molality is 1000 divided by 3 into 190 that is 570 so 1000 divided by 570 mole per kilogram this is going to be your answer okay this is the molality of your solution 1000 divided by 570 you can simply divide and calculate the exact value okay let's see another example so it will be more clear what we are talking about here 149 gram of potassium chloride is dissolved in 1500 gram of water calculate molality again a very basic question okay see molality is rarely used because it talks about mass and mass of solvent all right in chemistry we usually like to deal with moles as much as possible and if not that then volume especially because we are we mostly concern ourselves with liquid and gases okay obviously we have to deal with solids but most of the time you will be dealing with liquids or gases that's why volume is one thing that we use often and then moles for rest of the quantities we try and use moles okay so that is why molality is rarely used because it talks about mass and that is mass of solvent okay but since it is it has been asked in the question let's solve it and get done with it so we have to calculate again molality so we have potassium chloride potassium chloride is kcl all right kcl and it is dissolved in water that is h2o so water will be my solvent potassium chloride solute so i have to calculate molality molality is again moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg okay so again i have a similar question i have moles of solute na is equal to mass of solute divided by gram molar mass of solute okay because what i have in the question is 149 gram of kcl that is i have mass but i do not have moles so i am converting that moles sorry that mass into moles so i need gram molar mass of kcl you see in the question they have given you data about atomic masses okay so in your exams you will always get data about atomic masses you don't have to remember that atomic mass of potassium is 39 that of chlorine is 35.5 all right it will be given to you so let's calculate molar mass of kcl will be okay 39 plus 35.5 okay we are quite used to this now this calculations they are quite simple for us now so this comes out to be 74.5 gram so moles of kcl will be 149 divided by 74.5 this comes out to be 2 so i have 2 mole of kcl with me okay wb that is mass of water okay they have directly given us mass of water here wb is equal to 1500 gram but again this is in gram so to convert it into kilogram what do i do i divide by 1000 okay so this will be 1.5 kg and what you do is you simply substitute the values 2 divided by 1.5 all right so this is going to be my answer these many moles per kg or okay you can calculate it as molar okay 2 by 1.5 molar 
okay you can simply divide and calculate the accurate value all right so let this does this finishes our concentration units see there are lot of other concentration units okay there are lot of other con concentration units like parts per million parts per billion all right there is normality we'll study normality later in the topic of redox reaction okay and there are many other quantities but we are not going into them right now okay? because in this sessions we are basically trying to focus only on your grade 11 topics and that is based on cbsc board okay so going from that syllabus we don't have to study parts per million parts per billion or any other concentration units right now okay as they will come in our questions as they will come say in gaseous state if we have to use something okay for example in redox reaction we will have to use normality so we'll study those concentration units there itself okay for now we'll just skip them okay and in fact this finishes of your topic of mole concept all right as per your syllabus of cbsc board but apart from this we just uh, go into the conversion types okay that is in the next session we'll deal with conversion of one unit to another unit that is if i have molality how can i calculate molarity if i have density how can i calculate mole fraction and so on we will see some examples and actually we are finished with the theory part and that will finish up our topic of mole concept basically general chemistry completely for now okay after this the next chapter that will start in general chemistry is uh, atomic structure so until then and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos